On this Debaco University video, we're going to go over some caterpillar identification and control, as well as at the end show you two different species of caterpillars feeding on cannabis plants. All right, let's get into caterpillar identification and control on cannabis. Well, first off, there's many different types of caterpillars. Sadly, all that in some way negatively impact cannabis. These would be the few covered here, but realize there are even more than these uh, just in the list provided. So first off, painted lady identification. So they're typically um, two to five leaves maybe webbed together. You might kind of see this kind of like, I don't know, like cocoon-like structure. Um, and this is kind of this Ragged chewing injuries will also be evident in that particular area. The caterpillars uh, within the webbed uh, leaf kind of shelter there are notably spiny, and their early stage larvae are pale brown. As they age, they become variable marked with black and yellow with considerable range in the overall coloration. You can also see kind of the, what the butterfly looks like, as well as that kind of spiny look here to the actual caterpillars. It's important to be identify this as well as others at all stages of their life cycle. We also have the salt marsh caterpillar um, identification, and this is damage to hemp by salt marsh caterpillar is likely to be minimal. Peak feeding occurs late in the season and is limited mainly to the foliage. So here we see some salt marsh caterpillars shown, uh, some of the range in colorations. So it is a little bit more variable. It's not just kind of like one standard look. Um, so just be aware of that when we're looking at identifying the caterpillar you might be finding on your cannabis plant. We also have the yellow, yellow woolly bear uh, for identification and does have a yellow coloration. It does look very woolly. Uh, damage by hemp is likely also thought to be minimal uh, by this uh, caterpillar. Peak feeding occurs also late in the season, uh, season and is limited to basically the foliage. So keep in mind that just because you find a caterpillar on your plant doesn't mean they're doomed. Um, some of this feeding occurs late in the season. Some of it might be minimal, but still worth a proper identification. The zebra caterpillar identification here, uh, and hemp damage, limited small amount foliage scattered throughout the planting. Damage to hemp by the zebra caterpillar can be expected to be minimal and insignificant to crop yield. Kind of a distinctive one, uh, both in the um, caterpillar stage, a little bit less so in the actual um, adult stage there. A uh, more brown, a little even more able to blend in. Here, uh, kind of that neat bright uh, yellow stripes, those very distinctive black lines on white background. Then we have the variegated cutworm, uh, and this appears to primarily feed on hemp leaves. However, it is known to tunnel into developing flowers and fruit of other crops, so be sure to inspect developing buds. It is known to be a kind of tunneler, so if it happens on other species, why not on hemp? You know, it's typically found on the outer portion. It has the ability to tunnel, uh, so just be mindful of that. Then we have the managing of the caterpillars. So caterpillars are most effectively controlled when they're small. Most pesticides will have little uh, to no effect on bigger caterpillars. The, most are based on Bt as the active ingredient, Bacillus thuringiensis. Chemical control should be used as a last resort, as proper fertility, irrigation, sanitation should all pri be prioritized over pesticides. There's also on some of the larger ones and small applications could be hand removed. Now let's get into actually seeing some of these caterpillars sadly in action feeding on cannabis plants. Enjoy. All right, in this video, we see an army worm eating a cannabis plant. Now the audio is not necessarily true to the actual what's going on, but we can see in real time just how aggressive one of these caterpillars can basically be. These worms are how quick they can eat and devour a plant. Uh, you can see here really close to the bud, so that's of course of concern. And usually where there's one, while well, none pictured in the image here, I'm sure there's a few more and this implements more scouting as well as control. In addition to army worms, we also have another caterpillar pest here. And this is a winter moth uh, feeding on a cannabis plant located in a high tunnel.